Hello everyone. In Adobe Animate, there are three different kinds of frames. Frame, keyframe, and blank keyframe. Oh, uh, there's one more. Auto keyframe. So what are differences? And then uh, where do I use each one for? So today I'm going to explain the differences and the proper use of each frame. So um, please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's just dive into it. Okay, so first let's create a new Adobe Animate document. So I'm going to choose the web category and then a low uh, settings, uh, 640 by 480 pixel and 30 frame rate and platform type. Either one really doesn't matter. HTML5 canvas. Okay, and create it. Now, I'm going to create the four layers uh, to explain the each one. So on the first layer, I'm going to rename it as a frame. Let me create a new layer. This layer is going to be keyframe. And new layer is going to be blank keyframe. Underscore keyframe. And the last one on top, I'm going to name it as um auto keyframe okay oh and by the way let me uncheck this okay so there are four layers so first uh check uh select the bottom layer frame layer i'm gonna draw a rectangle with the fill color of um this black and white radial fill color and no stroke let me draw a rectangle to fill to cover my entire stage. So that's the frame layer. Okay, now keyframe layer. Let me draw this time a square. Uh, fill color, I'm going to choose the orange like this. Just like that. Now, blank keyframe layer, I'm going to draw another square but different color like blue like that and top layer auto keyframe layer i'm going to draw this time uh polygon please check the um, uh, the polygon number of sides uh three so i can draw on um, the triangle and the fill color i'm going to choose uh light green Maybe like that. Let me place it somewhere there. Okay, now let me explain from the frame. So frame, uh, just a regular frame, uh, it really doesn't do anything kind of spe specific things. So it will just extend uh, your image, your object from point A to point B. So in this case, since we're going to make just one second animation from frame number one to frame number 30, I want to keep the background. Keep pressing this button, just keep pressing and choose the frame and click. See? So we only have a one black dot here. So as you can see, I keep that uh, the background image from one to 30. For one second so that's the frame keyframe unlike a frame keyframe once you insert the keyframe it will copy and paste your current point a to point b okay so uh, on one second mark let me highlight the frame number 30 one second mark on the yes, this keyframe layer then keep pressing this button choose the keyframe and click so now you see that another black dot. So this is the departure. This is the destination. Let me choose, place my mouse cursor somewhere in the middle, anywhere in between. Hold down the control or right click. You will see this, the drop down menu, then choose the uh, create classic twin. You will have to see this hairline arrows. Now, let me highlight 
Let me select my second keyframe, the destination. I want to relocate it. I want to change the position on frame number 30. Let me move it to the right. That's it. Let me play. See? It's moving from point A to point B. So that's the keyframe. Now, blank keyframe. Unlike just a regular keyframe, blank keyframe will insert um, kind of an empty room, empty cell, so we can provide something. So on frame number 30, keep pressing this button. This time, let's choose blank keyframe. Click on it. You see that another circle, but on this circle is empty, meaning there's nothing. What I'm going to do is, we have a blue square here on my destination. I'm going to draw a circle, maybe a um, red circle. Somewhere there, like that. Okay, so now you see that the second keyframe is uh, filled in black. Now place your mouse cursor somewhere in between. Hold down the control or right click. Then this time choose the uh, create shape twin. See that? It is morphing like a transformer. Also, it blends the color as well. So I'm using this blank keyframe when I apply the uh, shape twin. Now last, auto keyframe. Auto keyframe, it goes with the other keyframe things. So first the thing is that the, uh, it I will apply the same keyframe feature. So on one second mark, let me insert, keep pressing, choose the keyframe. Let me insert the keyframe first. Now place your mouse cursor somewhere in between. Hold down the control or right click as we did. Then choose the uh, create classic twin. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, uh, relocate my triangle on frame number 30 to the right. Like we did, exactly the same way for the, uh, the orange square. See, it is moving. Now let me apply, let me place the, my mouse cursor and the other playhead somewhere in the middle. Let me keep pressing this button. Let's choose the auto keyframe. So nothing's changing, but you see that uh, the capital A attach it. So now what I'm going to do is in the middle somewhere or maybe on frame number 15, I'm going to place my mouse cursor on my triangle and let me move down a little bit. Now watch the um, uh, this timeline. You see that new keyframe is added automatically. And watch. See that? Okay, so I explained the um, um, the differences uh, of a frame, keyframe, blank keyframe, and auto keyframe. Uh, if you have any further questions, uh, please the um, uh, let me know in the uh, in comments area. And I hope you enjoyed, and then I hope that this video helped you understand the um, the keyframes, frames, blank keyframe, and auto keyframes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.